Hello guys, this is Nilay Mehta. I am software engineer as well as a tutor in the A Tutorials team. Throughout this series, I am going to teach you how to use the GraphQL queries as well as create own GraphQL APIs and a client for consuming it with the CSA. The first question arises, what is a GraphQL? GraphQL is a language for API that enable you to query and manipulate their data easily. GraphQL was developed by the Facebook, but it's open source so anyone can contribute to it. GraphQL is a standard for API, just like the REST. So we can create the API using the various server-side languages, such as Java, Node, Ruby, Python, PHP, Go. Throughout this series, we will use the CSA for it. In the case of GraphQL API, the client has a full control over the API. The client can decide which field to be written and fully pressing control to even send the single request for executing the multiple queries. The course outline include introduction to the GraphQL and understood how it's different from the RESTful API, create a basic GraphQL queries as well as with the argument and the alias, using fragments and inline fragment on a type to select the specific field using the variable for passing the data via query variable and a directive to obtain the field based on the condition. Use the paging to retrieve the data as a page wise with the sorting order. Understood the schema and learn about the types supported by the GraphQL. Use up the introspection for obtaining the schema or a type related details. Create a server side project with the entity framework core and GraphQL.net library. Create a simple query and a query with the argument and query having the nested fields. Use the mutation for insert, update or delete operation. Use the subscription for creating the event stream. Implement the paging and sorting for APIs. Implement the authentication based on the JWT identity. Validation of a query and exception handling from the server side. And execute the query and mutation from the client side project using the CSR. Prerequisite for this course is just basic knowledge of the SCSAP as well as basic knowledge of the ASP.NET Core and machine having the Visual Studio 2019. At the end of course, you will be confidently able to write the GraphQL queries as well as create your own GraphQL APIs for own application. It can include the basic query, advanced query having the argument, alias, fragment, mutation, subscription, paging, authentication, etc. and able to execute it in the playground or a client-side app. Join me for this course. Thank you.